We're uh, beautifully located, uh, very close to the German to the Austrian border. Uh, we're also only three hours away from, from Italy. So it's a truly, uh, um, uh, I would say, European environment in the heart of Europe. You have all the benefits of the mountains. Uh, you, you can go skiing very easily, uh, but the temperatures are, are mild compared to other parts um, of, uh, of uh, this part of Europe. And so that makes it really an ideal place to grow up. Our campus itself is uh, 100,000 square meters of private parkland. So we have 200 borders in total. Um, they range, for, range from age um, kindergarten uh, all the way up to, um, uh, to high school. And it's actually really cool because uh, it is built completely sustainable. And also, as you can see, the furniture that um, is a uh, concept that we picked together with our partners, Vitra, allows you to move the entire room around depending on uh, what type of, uh, of class or lecture you want to hold here. And the entire building is actually dedicated um, for exploring uh, the different sciences uh, when it comes to future skills, so data sciences, um, how to um, uh, work with computers, what is the impact of intelligent machines for our future. So this building is really all about um, thinking what will be the role of mankind in, in a world uh, where technology is increasingly more powerful. And then just a few steps over there, the wooden boardwalk, we have the Rosenberg Future Park, where we have uh, climate simulation. So we are comparing um, and collecting data uh, to see what is the impact of global warming on plants, but also, uh, for example, on microorganisms. And then on top of that, we uh, have these really exciting wind trees. And they were built by uh, a startup in France, and they collect uh, energy that we can then use straight away to power our fleet of electric cars, uh, which is really great for students not only to learn about something, but also to experience it. So, you know, when they're off to, to a program or they're off to a tennis lesson, um, they are actually driving with energy that they have uh, produced themselves here on the campus. <music> the reef bricks yeah. and that's normally used in the ocean to stimulate areas where the coral reefs have died the water flow changes and then the microorganisms can attach themselves again then the corals can grow back so this is how art design and technology science comes together We believe that humans are, um, you know, biofield. They need to be close to nature. Yeah. For sure. And even if we move to a moon or Mars colony, they would need to have some form of nature somehow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we think we're trying it out. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And also, plastic doesn't grow on the trees. <laughs> So guys, this is the whole thing, guys, so you understand, this uh, the whole made on a 3D printer, six panels, 12 hours each, and then inside they use all the ecological materials, and then this thing goes to space, but now students can use this one. hotel for two people one is here another one is there and we even have a really nice view on sun garden look
the design was done by our students, so you can go inside, you experience all the thoughts uh, uh, that they have, um, you know, from the original idea to the execution. And so, while this is a very much, you know, uh, future-focused type of education, we always ask, why is it relevant here today? Uh, and all of these parts, uh, from the um, uh, wind trees uh, to the um, uh, domes where we uh, observe the climate and the space habitat, um, is full of sensors. And these sensors constantly analyze, uh, you know, what is the humidity, uh, uh, what is the temperature, and it makes for some really, really interesting projects for our students to go and investigate. So whether you are interested in tech or say you're interested in the, in the arts, um, you will still find something, you know, uh, that is important to you. How does it look aesthetically? Uh, or you could come from a historic point of view and say, how have human habitats developed over time? Mm -hmm. And this is really our approach. We're very um, future focused and it should make sure that everybody that goes to school here understands what the tools of the future will be like. <laughs>
then you should have a menu. So here at the school they have a menu and this place here the food served as well. It's like an open kitchen. Actually it looks quite cool and uh, I can say that like many many places many spaces in the school designed in a really cool way. So you have uh, old buildings in here and you have the new one the high-tech and uh, all these objects which are designed by students and uh, external companies and people all these things make this school look really cool We also want our students to be able to exceed expectations, to go beyond um, uh, and to do, create something truly fantastic with their own lives, but also with their work. We think it's important, it's great to be good at your job, um, it's fantastic to succeed, but at the same time, it's important to share some of this privilege that you have, um, make sure you can make others happy and to make sure that you can give something back. <music>